this video is all about how to play chords. I'm gonna switch over to here. I really feel like playing chords is such an easy thing to do. I'm gonna just break down like what you're seeing here. You'll see a good strategy I use for this melody. I would say bottom line, and this is like a how to play chords video. So bottom line is um, if you're plugging these sounds in, just know it's gonna be kind of confusing. I and I only teach one way, which is my way of doing it. I don't really suggest doing the plug-in method because playing an instrument I feel like is better long term. If you don't want to make melodies. I suggest you sample, but really every, just exceptions, but most really good beat makers either sample really well or they're playing piano. Not a whole lot I've seen plug in because like it just gets to a point where it's like great songs when they're, when they're like, when you're replaying a great song, this works a lot for trap though. You can do some plugging, but if you're looking for some real melodic stuff, it's got to be played for the soul. And when you're playing it, you're really more so connecting your brain with the keys instead of just like plugging it in. You see what I'm saying? It's like a different, it's a different feeling because you're literally feeling with your hands. Like, use your hands. Your hands are amazing, so just use them. This is so easy to do. Um, and, you know, when I set off to make this how to play chords video, I was just thinking, you know, what what can I, what type of knowledge should I expunge? Just try to get the chords down. They're always going to be in the same area. And you can just go whatever way. But this is how you should be starting the beat. This is how you should be starting the melody. Try to play with four fingers. If you can't do four, start off with three. Two can work too. But you see like the difference in sound, and then four is more wholesome. You can even go with five if you want. So you can do something. Um, another cool thing you can do with chords is highlight everything and then mess with the velocity, the group velocity. It'll make like a very subtle difference. I think it just makes it a little bit smoother. But then also, of course, Alt S the strum. So you can strum it more like that. So that's something you want to do. So that's something you want to do. Go for it. Another cool thing to do with chords is, and you know, playing it is just left hand, bam, bam, bam. Don't overthink it. Just get a keyboard, man. Time out. Time in. Okay, so um, try to layer the sound. Clone. So we have this initial sound, and whatever sounds you have is just whatever you're feeling. Um, I can't tell you what kits to go to because it's just like whatever you want to do. I try to preserve the creative element. You see it cracking now. That's that that could happen. One thing I do suggest is try to stay in the same kit bank. So if you're layering sound, try to stay in the same kit bank. Because you just have a more cohesive sound most of the time. So you could, you know, that's something that could work. Just see what works. Um, arps like this work a lot. Works for pads too. We already showed the pads. That's a good one, but not gonna work really for the situation. So when you find it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Usually, like the first one I find that I really like, I just go with. 
I try not to overcomplicate it. Cause then you start thinking about it too much. <laughs> like I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's pretty much chords, guys. melodies I would also try to extend it out a little bit more so if you want you know see if you can find any type of variation that you can throw in between these two chords this can be a challenge too because I've already kind of like did this part you you want to do like the alt s part the um, strumming at the end yeah but like that's just it that's just some like advice Try to extend it as far as you can, really. Like, make it like 16. Make it 16, and people will just, your melodies will just be a lot better because it'll be less monotonous. Most, the problem with most melodies is they're too monotonous. What am I talking about in this video again? Oh, yeah, chords. Just kidding. Let's do some mixing. One thing is with mixing, keep in mind the other instruments. So, you get some cool sounds just by doing stuff like this. So we want to take everything that's not bass related out. We can cut it there. A lot of that deep sound though does make it nice. We kind of want to preserve the deep sound. So there's good. Do the same thing with the high end. So. Try Patcher. I always suggest Patcher. Patcher is free. So replace Patcher. That's Patch. When you turn it on, it's going to sound like nothing. Um, go ahead and go to the compressor. This is, a cool, this is a good knob. If your sound is not deep enough. If it's not there enough, maybe use Patcher for just a little bit. Reverb is good. I feel like the reverb knob is too simple, or the fruity reverb too. Uh, it's really good though, but like, it's kind of beyond the scope of this video. So like, if you just don't know much about modifying reverb, this simple one knob stuff is a little bit easier to do. Just wash now that doesn't work chords y'all chords now uh, honestly like this stack wasn't very good if the stack's not good just take it out it's probably just better and then go on with something else later so I'll finish off the melody so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. So we're not going to stack this time. We're just going to keep it going. So we're just using Logic here. And again, try to stay in the same kit bank. We're in the 7 C's one. You're just going to get more cohesive sounds. These are kind of loud. two quarter freestyle and then just put it in there and then um then do the melody well, all right so like literally this is not even that good but like it'll just set the tone and make it a little bit easier now we for you I low key think some people 
people think longer videos are bad, but like, see what I'm saying? Don't really have to keep watching. Maybe it sounds a little bit late, shift it over to left or right. Sounds a little bit off. I thought you just gotta shift it over. Alt. Maybe add one more sound. <laughs> this video good or not, I don't know. I'm gonna cut this off at 15. So let me just keep going. I think three sounds is usually like a good limit. I'd probably try to add the bass at this point to be honest, but there's no bass. Loki, try to avoid um, packs without bass. Cause then it just gets you chasing. Something we could probably add later in the beat. It doesn't have to be like right up front. Just keep it jazzy.
just talking about the S word. People think you're so good. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Core tutorial. Sorry, kind of drag, but uh, you know it is what it is.